Hi, let us discuss the solution of this problem. In this problem, we are given an adjacency matrix representation of an unweighted undirected curve. So, let us first understand what is unweighted curve and then we would understand what is undirected. Suppose we have a vertex A and a node B. So, if there is an edge between them, then the cost of traveling that edge is same as traveling other edge then that is known as unweighted curve not unweighted curve it is so if there is no weight associated encounter cost is zero okay then it is an unweighted graph and then you can go in that direction also in this direction also but in a directed graph you can only go to a particular direction that is given there so you have to find out if there is a eulerian path present in the graph or not. So, let us first understand what is Eulerian path. So, basically a Eulerian path is nothing but a path which travels every edge, every edge once and then it can visit all the nodes that is present. And see, you can revisit a node but you can't revisit a path and by doing this, you need to find all the nodes that is there. So, initially when we have this one, we will still remember this, this thing that you need to travel this without re revisiting a particular edge. This is just a scene like this only, okay? Okay. So, the graph consists of a single component. That is, it is a connected graph. So, no other component. There is only one component. Let us first see the first example itself. So, we can see that this is for 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5 because it is one index. So, from 1, I have an edge to 2 and I have an edge to 5. From 2, I have an edge from 1 that is already done. And from 2, I have an edge to 3 itself. I have an edge to 4 itself. Okay. Now, from 3, I have an edge from 2 and 4. 2 and 4. And from 4, I have an edge from 2 to 3. 2 to 3, that is already done. Then I have an edge from 5 to 1. That is already done. Now what I can do is, I can just start visiting this node in this fashion. I would come here. I would go here. I would come here. I would go here. Then I would come here. See, 2 is revisited. 2 is revisited. But as you can observe, that no edge is being revisited here. So yes, we can revisit the nodes that is given, but we can't revisit the edge that is given. That is why the answer to this is yes. Okay. So now, the definition of Eulerian path remains the same. But let us understand some more properties of a Eulerian path. So you... So... And the only property that is needed to solve this question is for unweighted graph when a Eulerian path exists or not. So, this is a matter of fact. Intuition can be there, but this is to be understood and then you need to remember it that there exists a Eulerian path in an undirected unweighted graph when the number of degrees number of degrees of node with odd odd number of degrees of node should be either 0 should be 0 or 2 ok so if the number of nodes with a degree of odd is 0 or 2 then a Eulerian path exists just a matter of fact that if the number of degree is 0 for that particular node, then a Eulerian loop also exists. So, now we would, what we would do is, we would first calculate the degree of all the nodes that is given. Then, we would see that the number of nodes which have degree as odd, what is the population of that? If the population is 0 or 2, then the answer to that is true, else the answer would be false itself. So, let us start implementing it. 
So we are given a matrix of n cross n where each one would represent the n degree of it. Like if you can see that this is for one. So the number of nodes from number of edges from one are this and this. So what we can do is we can go and see what are the number positions where the given value is one itself. Okay. So let us start the implementation now. So we would keep the count of the nodes. So now we would go int i is equals to zero, i is less than n, and i plus plus. This is for iterating the up and down. Now what we would do is we would keep a counter variable. So we would keep a counter as zero. Now what we would do is int j is equals to zero, j is less than n, and j plus plus. Okay. This is to count the all the edges. So if g of i and j is true, then what we would do is c n plus plus. Now we would go down, and if c n the number of nodes is an odd degree, if c n is an odd number, then what we would do is we would add this. At the end, we need to check. So if c is not true or c is equals to equals to true what do we mean this by this so not true means that if the particular value is zero then doing the not operation of it would make it one that is true if it is one then doing the not operation will make it zero if it is two then doing the not operation would not solve the purpose so or we can just write it here as C is equals to zero. We can do this, but do that also. We need to return one itself, else we would return zero. So let us now check for the sample test case. Yes. So that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.